In this video, we're continuing on with the isosceles and equilateral triangle free worksheet on the CUDA software website under the geometry section. Picking up where we left off with number 11, our directions are to solve for x. In an isosceles triangle, we know that the angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. So this angle is congruent to this angle. We're solving for x, which is a linear pair with one of those congruent angles. First, we have to solve for those congruent angles. And in order to do that, we're going to have to use this angle of 148 degrees. 148 degrees forms a linear pair with this angle here. Let's call this angle B. So 180 equals 148 plus B. Subtracting 148 degrees for both sides, I'll get that my angle B is equal to 32 degrees. So knowing that B equals 32 degrees, I can solve for one of my congruent angles. That's because 32 degrees and this angle, let's call this angle Y. And since Y is congruent to another angle, that angle also has the value of Y. But you can see that Y and B form a right angle, which is 90 degrees, so they're complementary. So 90 degrees equals 32 degrees, which is B, plus Y. When I subtract 32 degrees from both sides, I get that 58 degrees is equal to y. So if my y equals 58 degrees and y and x form a linear pair, the angles will sum to be 180. So I'll have 180 degrees equal to 58 degrees plus x. And when I subtract 58 degrees, from both sides, I'll get that 122 degrees is equivalent to x. So my solution in number 11 is 122 degrees. In number 12, we're solving for x down here. We can see that that forms a vertical angle with this angle and is therefore congruent. So this is also x. And we know that when we have two congruent sides, we have an isosceles triangle and the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So since this is congruent to this side, this angle x is congruent to this angle over here, which is also x, since they have the same value. And since this angle forms a vertical angle with this angle, this angle is also congruent, and since it has the value of x, we can say that this angle is also equal to x. And again, we have an isosceles triangle where this side is congruent to this side, so the angles opposite them are also congruent. So this angle is also x. Now, all we need to do is figure out the measure of that angle and use triangle sum theorem to solve for x. 120 degrees forms a linear pair with this angle, so 180 degrees minus 120 degrees will give us the measure of this angle, which is equal to 60 degrees. So now we can say, that 180 degrees equals x plus x plus 60 degrees. So 180 degrees equals 2x plus 60 degrees. Subtracting 60 degrees from both sides, we'll get that 120 degrees equals 2x. And when we divide both sides by 2, we'll get that 60 degrees is equal to x. So number 12, 60 degrees is our solution. So if we were to plug that back in for all of our x's, this is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and our original x is 60 degrees. And number 13, I have that each of these angles is congruent. And by the converse theorem, the sides opposite those angles are also congruent. So this side is congruent to this side since they're opposite two congruent angles, and this side is also congruent to this side, since they're opposite two congruent angles, and those angles have the same measure. So therefore we can say that 8 equals negative 1 plus x, and when we add 1 to both sides, we'll isolate that x to get that 9 is equal to x. So 9 is our solution in number 13. In number 14, you can see that my largest triangle is isosceles, and since this side is congruent to this side, this angle 
is congruent to this angle. So by angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle postulate, we can say that these triangles are congruent. Therefore, this side of 12 is congruent to this side, 2x minus 12. And that's by ASA, or since this side is shared by both triangles, it's congruent to itself, so we also could have said by side, angle, side postulate that those two were congruent. So we have that 12 is equal to 2x minus 12. So when I add 12 to both sides, I get that 24 equals 2x. So all I have to do is divide both sides by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x is x. So 12 is equal to x. So 12 is my solution in number 14. In number 15, you can see that I have a vertical angle. So this angle is congruent to this angle. And since this is an isosceles triangle, that means the angle opposite this side, 47 degrees, is congruent to the angle opposite this side, which is the vertical angle. So 47 degrees is equal to this angle. And remember that's a vertical angle. Vertical angles are congruent, so this is also 47 degrees. And again, we have an isosceles triangle. So the angle opposite this side is congruent to the angle opposite that side which happens to be 47 degrees. Now we're solving for x given that the measure of angle two equals x plus 94. So this is x plus 94. So by triangle sum theorem, we'll have 180 degrees equal to 47 degrees plus 47 degrees plus the measure of angle two, which is x plus 94. Now I'm going to combine all my like terms and solve. So that's 47, 47, and 94. So I'll have 180 equals 47 plus 47, which is 94, and then adding that to 94 will give me 188. And then I'm still adding x. So when I subtract by 188, I'll get that negative 8 is equal to x. So negative 8 is my solution in number 15. I notice that x does not represent an angle, Therefore, we're not going to write x in terms of degrees. And lastly in this video, number 16. We're given again that the measure of angle 2 is equal to some quantity. And in this case, that quantity is 4x minus 2. So this angle is 4x minus 2. And we have two separate isosceles triangles. So you can see this triangle here is isosceles. The angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. So 68 degrees is congruent to this angle. Of 68 degrees. So now I'll solve for this angle here. And I'll do that by the triangle sum theorem. So I'll have 180 degrees equals 68 degrees plus 68 degrees plus some unknown, let's call this A. So I have 180 degrees equal to 68 degrees plus 68 degrees, which is 136 degrees, and I'm adding that to A. So when I subtract by 136, I get 44 degrees is equal to A. A is complementary with the measure of angle 2. So adding A, which is 44 degrees, to the measure of angle 2 will give me 90 degrees. So I have 90 degrees equal to the measure of angle 2, which is 4x minus 2, plus 44 degrees. Combining my like terms, I'll combine negative 2 with 44. So I have that 90 degrees is equal to 4x plus 42. So when I subtract 42 from both sides, I get that 4x is equal to 48. And when I divide by 4, I get that 12 is equal to x. So 12 is my solution and number 16. And that wraps up the video, isosceles and equilateral triangles. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And while you're clicking that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below.